Welcome dudes and dudettes to another video where I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily record your screen if you need to send someone a screen share of whatever it is that you're doing. You know the moment when you try to write something up in an email for a client for example and it takes you forever to get to the point and to really explain properly how stuff is working and how you have to do it and where they have to click and all that stuff I've been there done that but ever since I'm using loom my life has been so much easier <laughs> you can go to loom.com it's basically a very simple extension that you can get for free which gives you the option to not only record your tab or or chrome in general but also you can share your entire desktop for example so here you can see that there are unlimited videos that you can record anyway you can go here and click on sign up I do already have an account so I just have to click on sign in I'm going to do that with my Google account and you see at the top bar here I already have the extension going on so all you have to do now is go to a place where you want to record something so let's just say you want to record her stuff is going on your website in the back end and then you click on this nice little loom icon box and it will open and now you can see yourself and myself here already um, so that's basically how it's going on you can record you can see here what you can record you can choose it you can um, record with a camera which is really nice um, if you want that your oh my god if you want your circle to be bigger you can do that here too Jesus I mean that does not make sense at all does it anyhow let's make me smaller again you can choose if you just want to record the tab so basically where you will be recording then is here in that small little circle and you wouldn't see all the address bar and all that other weird stuff that's going on um, you can also record screen only so that means there is no picture here um, and, and when I say no picture I mean no camera um, you can also remove that entirely you see if you hover over it there is an, an X and you can click that and you can also say it would be the same thing if you clicked on cam only so let's go back to screen only um, obviously that doesn't come up right now but if you want to use it again you see that there is this advanced options tab and if you click here you can also use the photo screen again for screen only control menu is something that you can enable and if you click on control menu you can also turn on the camera settings again so whoop here I am with my camera um, and if you go to screen only now you see that there is a picture you can also disable it so it will be gone and come up again control menu um, is hidden and you can get it back again I just sometimes hide it because the users will see the small dots here and sometimes that's a bit annoying but it will help you um, while you record to click pause and play again so that's just really nice if you for example notice that a sneeze is coming and you want to pause the video but you don't want to um, stop it entirely the controls menu will help you pause that um, and then you can have a recording countdown so you will basically get um, notified when the video actually starts um, again current tab I already told you that cam only same old same old and camera so let's just dismiss this real quick and I'm going to start a recording and recording um, which is also interesting so hang on let's click on start record and then you can see you can choose if you want to the, uh, record the entire screen or just a specific application that you have running geez I have a lot of stuff open but I'm going to record my entire screen so I'll click on share and then that's what is the countdown and woohoo now we're recording blah 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 look at my awesome website back and click here to create a post blah 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 and once you're done you basically click on the screen checkbox here or you can click at the icon on the icon at the top again this bar you can always hide because it will also be visible on camera but once you're done with whatever it is you need you click on your icon 
and it will open a separate and you see it already says it, the URL has been copied and you can now forward this to whoever you want to forward this to. You can also, if you've copied something after that, you can find the link again here where you can share it with people and you can give this also a password. So if you don't want this to be visible to everyone um, and just share something with a small group of people and be sure that only the ones with password see it, you can also add that. But yeah. That's basically it on how you can simply and quickly get some tutorials made with Loom. You can also download them, you can delete them and you can share them with people. And some trimming options are also available in the free plan. Does It is a bit weird though. So you have to figure, you see, figure something out here. But that's also a way where you can trim and it will remove that now and you can publish the changes. And you can see now how is Luna is trimming the video. <laughs> yes, she thinks she's lovely. And now my video is just 10 seconds long, but now we've got rid of everything else. So there is no original around here anymore. Or is there? Yes, there is. But yeah, that's basically how it works. You can get back the trimming of that one as well. And yeah. That's a very simple, smooth and easy way on how to can record your screen for people to see what you're doing. I hope that was helpful and see you again next time. Bye. That's it for today. So if you've liked this video and it was helpful at all, give me a thumbs up or give me a few comments below. Or you can subscribe to my channel, but I'm not sure where it is. So maybe it's a red button has a bell on it so click the bell and follow my channel thanks for watching and see you soon bye